Hello, besties. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. You are in for a treat today. We have another tea spill reading. It's going to be the energy between Jonah Hill and his ex, Sarah Brady. There have some, been some recent text messages that have came out where he is setting boundaries, but in my opinion, they're a little unrealistic boundaries. And definitely, there's two sides to every story. Communication is key in a relationship, but you also should not push your triggers, your insecurities on others. Easier said than done, but we're going to see the energy between them because a lot of people are like, okay, he's moved on, he's got a baby, or he's welcoming a baby. I can't remember if the baby's born yet. Don't shoot me. With a new girl, is it jealousy? Is it fame? What is it? So we're going to see the reasons, the attention intentions or attention behind the situation as someone who has personally experienced this type of treatment except on a more extreme enforceable level um as a young adult and being in an abusive relationship um it is triggering and I understand it does take time to work through things and maybe now she feels comfortable speaking out and speaking her truth so we're not going to diminish that as well in the comments below we're just going to see the energy between these two, allegedly, and the energy between them. So, without further ado, we have two decks. We have the Tarot, followed by LaRosha's Goddess Queen, just me, 23's deck. We're going to give them a little bit of a shuffle out here. Ooh. That deck stuff. We'll do this deck. We'll do Jonah's energy, and then we will do Sarah's energy. Okay. And Jonah's energy is moving forward, moving on, healing, no longer crying over spilled milk. Five of Cups in the reverse. Her energy is anxiety, negativity, deep unhappiness, staying up at late at night, mental anguish, regret, remorse, the energy between them. Yeah, Confessing, coming clean, turning over a new leaf, conscience is kicking in. Interesting. So he's in this page of I'm moving forward, I'm moving on. She is very anxious, up late at night, can't sleep. Um, the subject of gossip, the energy between them is a confession, right? Something's coming clean, turning over a new leaf. Let's go back to Jonah's energy. The resilience. So I feel like he feels like he's backed in a corner. Um... He's learning from his past failures, mistakes. Let's see what else. Yeah. He realizes his clarity to some degree of his mistakes, whether or not people were saying it's therapy speak, but there was lack of choices or opportunities. Um, yeah. Letting go of regret, stagnation, moving forward, moving on. I think he's just ready to close out this chapter and move forward and move on. Yeah. Folding on your beliefs, giving in, giving up, admitting defeat. Maybe he is accepting help. Moving forward, realizing that these are unrealistic boundaries. As for her, uh, new beginnings, good news, finding a new passion, talent, growth. I mean, Wheel of Fortune, good luck is turning in her favor. Interesting. Yeah, looking forward to the future. I think this was a closing of a chapter from her perspective. I'm not getting any pentacles. I'm not getting any mo money motives. It's, hey, this is my final chapter. I'm going to speak my piece. I'm going to move forward and move on. It seems that his energy is more so the energy of it is what it is. I made bad choices. I'm moving on to the next one. And it's like you can have these differences. Like everyone has different levels of what they're comfortable about. But you need to establish this. You can't from the beginning. You can't take away someone's freedom towards the end of the relationship. Right? Yeah. Teamwork, commitment, building, collaboration, goals, dedication. And yeah. Lack of direct. Yeah. I feel like there's a little bit of bitterness, too, and anger. Like, you did this for me. I'm going to lash out. Do I think it's for the best reasons? 150%? No. Um, do I think it's also a journey or a step in healing? Yes. The energy between them, yeah. Vulnerability, self-doubt, low self-esteem, feeling inadequate. There was definitely a power struggle, a power imbalance in this relationship, allegedly. 
Um, someone made someone feel inferior, insecure, infertile. Um, yeah, lack of growth, overbearing, disharmony. There was a lot of energy in between that of a need to control and a need to submit. And there are some people that are willing to do that. There's other people that are not. The abundance between them with the Queen of Pentacles, I mean, fertility, prosperity, you know, businesswoman, it is about that. And transformations, I mean, fertility, he just had a baby or is with his new girl. Endings bring new beginnings. I think this is a new chapter for both of them. I think he found someone that maybe is more okay with some of the things he considers boundaries. Meanwhile, she's closing out this chapter. Is she a little bitter? Yes. Um, at least that's how the energy is reading between them. It's a transition period with the devil. I mean, it's anxiety, depression, addiction, you know, ego, obsession. Um, I think there will be a compromise. Maybe there will be some, hey, shut up. Um, I don't want to say hush money, but they're they're going to reach an agreement. I think, you know, it's going to do to the peace of someone else, bringing them possibly together. Uh, this person is definitely very logical, has a good business sense, values home, life, could be a Leo, or it's going to be solved in Leo season. Yeah, there's going to be good news, courage, some sort of testimonial, um, or someone speaking out on both sides. I believe that this can, you know... They're both very passionate on their stance. I feel like it's just a, I don't want to say a disagreement because you should not speak to someone in that way, but it is a situation where it's, I'm exerting, like, this is how it is. It's very, I don't want to say it is not. You teeter a line if you say it's misogynistic. You teeter a line if you say it's sexist. Do I think it's outdated? Yes. Um... The energy, yeah, he is in this, I cried for you, king or queen of cups. He's very emotional about this Cancer Pisces Scorpio. She's just following through. She's very passionate about being an advocate, speaking out. Why do I feel this way? I'm about to explode. That's why I think she needs to put it out there. The energy between them is very logical. It's very calculated. It's very familiar. It's very, you're playing chess or checkers and I'm playing chess. His energy is time is a ticking. It's on time limit, time exposure. Yeah, this is the celebration or turning over a new leaf with the abundance energy. I think, you know, accepting all positive outcomes. I think he just doesn't give a fuck. There's so much for him to celebrate and be present in the moment about. She's trusting her intuition. Someone was feeding her bad news, bad ideas. She had bad influences around her telling her that she should put it online. I think it should have been dealt with in private, possibly. But the throat chakra, she was speaking her own truth, using her own voice. Um, but once again, it is showing up as the king or queen of pentacles. Um, I don't know if there's going to be financials involved to get someone to stop talking, allegedly. The energy between them, trusting the intuition, It's this was a karmic relationship. This was meant to teach them a lesson. Um, it's a hard to break cord. There's a risk that's going to be taken definitely out here. Realizing, opening up the hearts that they're worthy of love, both finding different life partners. I think there's this energy of good riddance between them, but moving on, moving forward. This is different from every relationship that they've had with each other. I think they're moving forward with new people, and that's what they want. They want this leveling up, this energy. I think they're at it for different reasons. Um, I really just don't think he cares, and I think she cares too much to prove a point and say, hey, I healed. I took accountability. This was traumatic to me. This is how you made me feel, but she did it in a public setting. And so I think there's a lot of mixed energy between them, a lot of fighting, a lot of chaos. Um, very, very interesting read. But let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below. Hit that like, subscribe, and notification bell so you know when I go live. And you can jump in on the reads. But I will catch you on the flip side, besties. Have a great day. And I will talk to you later. Bye.